Sensory stimuli can elicit both innate behaviours as well as learned responses. In this new study, we wanted to understand how learning can alter an existing innate response, focusing on the olfactory system of the vinegar fly, Drosophila. Together with our co-authors in Paris, as well as colleagues at Genelia, we were able to piece together a complete circuit for this interaction and show its behavioural significance. The Drosophila brain contains only 140,000 neurons, but the olfactory system shares a common organisational logic with mammalian brains. Olfaction begins when sensory neurons detect odour molecules at the sensory periphery. After initial detection and processing, odour information diverges into multiple higher olfactory processing regions. The mushroom body, which encodes odors randomly and is implicated in learning and memory storage, and the lateral horn, which responds to smell in a hardwired manner and is proposed to mediate innate behavior. In a previous study, we identified neurons that connect the site of learning and memory to the innate olfactory processing center. In this work, we wanted to understand how the learned and innate processing centers interact and what impact this has on the fly's behavior. Using a variety of techniques, including electron microscopy, we identified seven cells that act as convergence neurons, being postsynaptic to projections both from the mushroom body and the antennal lobe. Using the powerful genetic tools available in Drosophila, we generated transgenic lines that specifically label these cells and allowing us to manipulate these neurons in behaving animals. In order to be sure we were looking at neurons that integrated uh, innate and learned information directly, we turned to nanometer resolution data in which we can see actual individual synapses and reconstructed odor, odor channels, so those are uh, projection neurons from the antennal lobe uh, and memory readout neurons from the mushroom body, uh, in order to see whether our putative convergence neurons were shared synaptic targets. This data was collected in a previous study from Janelia Research Campus, Zheng et al. 2018, where the authors took an entire female adult fly brain, sliced it into 7,040 nanometer thick sections, and imaged it at a resolution of 4 by 4 nanometers, using an electron microscope. The data was assembled into a browsable map for the fly brain, and using this map and an annotation tool called CatMade, also developed by Labs of Genelia, we were able to reconstruct our neurons of interest and their synaptic connections. Significantly, this allowed us to see that the food-related olfactory odour channels, shown here in green, and the memory readout neuron, shown here in purple, that comes out of the mushroom body in red, both synaptically target the same set of lateral horn neurons shown in, in white, these being our putative convergence neurons. This allowed us to plan behavioural experiments using certain odours that had previously been shown to be encoded by these particular olfactory channels. Next, we needed to test whether these convergence neurons are required for memory retrieval and innate behaviours. To do this, we used a T-maze assay to see which of the two odors the flies prefer. To test whether these convergence neurons could be required for memory retrieval, we trained flies with an odor and a punishment, in this case an electric shock. Animals with the convergence neurons silenced exhibited impaired memory retrieval. We then tested innate behavior. Our electron microscopy reconstructions demonstrated that our convergence neurons directly integrate food odor channels, and so we also tested the role of these cells in innate behavior. Hungry flies strongly approach vinegar, which is associated with food, but silencing the PD2A1B1 neurons abolished approach to vinegar. This data tells us that these convergence neurons integrate innate and learned olfactory behavior, and hence have a dual role in the retrieval of both bad olfactory memories and in the attraction to food or repetitive odors. In summary, we've shown that learning modifies the sensory representation used for innate behavior. We've also provided the first direct evidence that lateral horn neurons are actually required for innate behavior. In so doing, we've produced a complete synaptic circuit for integration of learned and innate odor pathways. We're really excited to see in the future whether other sensory modalities or species share this same circuit logic for memory recall.